You had a tough day at the office, so you come home, make yourself some dinner, smother your kids, pop in a movie, maybe have a drink. It's fun, right? Wrong. Don't smother your kids. All right, now we're back from that public service announcement by NBC. So, anyways, my project is about globalization and the internet how technology itself actually affects globalization and if it helps it mostly. What does globalization mean? Globalization is a process of interaction and integration among the people, companies, and governments of different na nations. A process driven by international trade and investment aided by information technology, or simply the advance of human cooperation across na national boundaries. Mm, an example of globalization would be cotton is grown in India from seeds sold in the U.S. Then the fibers go to are from Portugal and the dyes are from at least six other countries and colored linings from Brazil. The machinery is in Germany which is a long time by now I'm guessing like a bit a month or a few months just to make one shirt and then the t-shirt is finally made in Malaysia. How does globalization work? If you haven't guessed by now and that's pretty friggin weird if you haven't. Globalization works by con countries buying a product from another, creating a new product from the one that they just bought, selling their product, and then it continues in a circle, like the circle life. Not just circle life is better. Until the products have all been combined into a finished product like a t-shirt or computer or a chair or I don't know anything else a water bottle yeah. and some websites help globalization like eBay Amazon and Craigslist and we usually transport uh, the products by either airplanes or well, basically any air transport or cargo ships or just any ship that can hold something that's super heavy usually uh, example of th another example actually better example of trade globalization is that South in 2005 to 2009 Southeast Asia start buying more guns, firearms. It nearly doubled during that time. And Vietnam spent 2.4 billion for Russian subs and jets, and Beijing agreed to spend 15 more, more, 15 more percent in, uh, in warfare, I guess, annually. We began in we began globalization in 1944 because after World War Two, when world leaders uh, agreed to base currency on the U.S. dollar and also to promote trade, we basically just started trading with each other more. Well. An example of a company that uses globalization, because we, I can't just give you like a random person that sells stuff to other countries, <laughs> is Nike, and a company that we actually all know, probably, hopefully. Nike was made by Phil Knight after he imported cheap but well made running shoes from Japan. Factories and workers are scattered around the world. 
which makes Nike a transnational company. Transnational companies are what I just said. They have factories all around the world, like Africa, Asia, Brazil, uh, Europe, and other places like Australia. I think. Uh, well, what are some facts about globalization? One is that more than 54% of the traffic to the NBA.com Oh wait, what? Yeah, NBA website is from international visitors. That's quite a lot if you think about it, because if it's more than half, then that means less, I mean, like, think about it. Probably a lot of people watches uh, basketball when they can. And some people go on website and put less. But still, that's a lot of people. 54%. And Brazil, Russia, India, and China, or BRIC for the initials, could have a bigger GDP which is gross domestic product than the US, the UK, Italy, France, Germany, and Japan by 2040. That's a long way, I gotta admit, that's, what, like, holy crap. Uh, and how are you, uh, whatever. Uh, the largest internet population in the world is still in the U.S. Still. I don't know how long ago that's been, the, how we've been the largest internet population, but still, that's a record. A record of being the largest internet population in the world. Yeah. Um, this is... What's that word? Do, 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 do. Oh, and it's directly connected to the economic civics as well. Uh, in section hmm, section twelve. Well, I'm just gonna give you the entire thing that it says. Standard C E period twelve D dash dash global economy. Is directly connected to that. Yeah. So that's what my project is connected. I mean, how it is connected to that standard thingy above her. And that's basically it. Now we're going to have another public service announcement because. Does that mean the people would you get on my video? Racism. <laughs> yeah. Joyce, Ricky, hey. Thanks for the hard work. Uh-huh. Great. Listen, seriously, you're fired. Go for Ricky. Hey, how's that retarded kid of yours? Still retarded? <laughs> How about you give me a call after you finish ovulating? Say hi to mom. I gotta go. I know the call. Hey, Chaz, buddy. You were loaded last night. I can't believe you brought that wounded moose home. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm on the phone. Hot mommy alert. Uh-oh. She might be the nanny, huh? Breast milk, Kahlua, love it.